Hi, hello and welcome to this tutorial produced for forum code called by Goku Jets. So what are we going to learn in this tutorial? Well, it's really an interesting application to say. It's a sticky note application but a bit intelligent than a sticky note. It reminds you of the note with the pop-up and it's time up. So what are we waiting on? Let's just begin. Coming to the system requirements you'll be needing. A PC with at least a gigahertz of processor power, a gigabyte of physical RAM, Visual Studio 2003, 5, 8 or 10. It's your wish. I'll be coding the whole application in a language C sharp, Visual C sharp, and of course your brain you need that and where can you get these the PC and the peripherals it's up to you you can go to a decent shop and buy one and Visual Studio 2003 5 8 and 10 download them from Microsoft.com and sorry no download for the brain and what are my PC specifications I'm using a Windows Vista Service Pack 1 a HP 360 multimedia network with a 250 GB of hard disk drive space and 3 GB of RAM and Visual Studio 2008 with the service pack 1 a little about the Visual Studio 2008 Microsoft's development system is in a default laid out into three windows the one is the main application window which here over you see as a start page at the center of the document which displays the start page and the recently used projects and quick shortcuts into creating a project and opening a recently used project the toolbox at the left tab with the server explorer contains a whole lot of Microsoft's hard work into the .NET framework it's where all the controls of the .NET framework have been stacked up right now we haven't opened the application so we can't see any controls over here and at the right you'll find the solution explorer Visual Studio has a plentitude of file, format, file formats that it can edit so those files which are according to your particular project will be put over here into a tree menu you'll find properties window 2 if you open your application properties window has been used to change properties of your button like the text button you can add an image through the properties window and there's a lot more we'll talk about it a bit later so let's start the application by creating a C Sharp Windows application so first click file and then new project or you can click the shortcut key control N so go to file click on file click on new project or here is a shortcut key for your control N it pays you when you actually remember the shortcut keys it's a lot more easy to use your keyboard rather than putting a mouse over here, clicking here, here and here and also you can use this menu over here where you can click on create project like that both of them actually open the same dialog box on the left side you see the languages that I have installed with the Visual Studio product I have the Visual C Sharp I have the Visual Basic as well as other setup and deployment features so today we'll be seeing about Visual C Sharp and here what you see is actually called the template template is like what are the applications that you can actually create with the Visual Studio let's create a Windows application we're going to name it Intelli App a school name isn't it click on OK 
as I told you now we have a project open and on the left you see there's a lot of a lot actually to tell you there's lot of objects you can actually use on your forms there's a pointer pointer you click on some other control you, and you want to get back to the pointer click on the pointer there's a checkbox combo box a directory a dialog box opening panel there's a lot we can go keep on checking each and every control but I'll be writing tutorials on how to use controls on near future and there's actually the most common controls we'll be using would be these controls just acted with the common controls category and when you're using a database you'll be using the data category controls and you want to use menus and toolbars this is what you need to use so it's a lot more easy to use menu strips to create menus nowadays the first thing that you see over here is called a form application this is actually the client area which your user will be showed with when he runs the application it's called a windows form first click on the form and hit the alt enter key in order to bring up the properties tab so if you don't have the properties tab tabbed over with the right side of your document you can go to view and then go to the properties window or note the shortcut F4 so when you click on the form hit the F4 key you get back to the form so first let's change the text of the form text is what you see over here let's change it to Intelli notes that's what we're creating as you see it's updated over here as Intelli notes and other things that you need to change is the forms background color let's change the form background color it's over here. here's the color click on info so this brings up a nice yellow looking thing it's like a sticky pad that's what yellow it's yellow color and it's a sticky pad now you go to the property called opacity let's lower the opacity to 85 percentage which makes it a bit transparent and let's set the topmost property which means this application will be on top of any other application to true and in a sticky note if you note you wouldn't have something like a minimize button a maximize button you would have only a close button so there's a form border stand you need to set for that something called a sizable tool window here nice isn't it now for the user to type in the text which he wants to remember we need to put in a text box so first go to all windows form controls text box comes at the bottom so you add a text box there's a text box this is actually the text box it's been named as a text box one as you see in the properties window and let's name the text box something like txt user because the user would be typing something into the text box and and here are some properties that you need to set which is accepts a return key it's true so what it does is it it makes a cursor go to the next line when you hit the enter key that's the property over here and you need to set the multi line property to true so the user can type in loads of information that he wants to remember and here too we need to set the background color into info